So guys, today back for another video on the channel today, we're here for the new Cassie United vs Manchester City preview. I want to say now, sorry for not uploading the preview yesterday and the predicted team today. Basically last night when I got in from work, I had a bit of an issue with my eye and I thought the worst thing to do was to have a massive light in front of us. But it's better now, so I'm going to be doing the... Pre the preview and then when I talk about Newcastle I'll also do my predicted team in there so we've got two videos into one for today and it should be the only time I do this so make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's start off by looking at Manchester City so as we all know Manchester City massive team done bits in the Premier League obviously not this season and had a freak result on Sunday but obviously we played them in the FA Cup quarterfinals and got beat 2-0 to them if you want haven't watched them videos go and watch them if you're a City fan watch my reaction to to that game but we'll look at their last six games now all these games have been played in lockdown as well so the first one was 3-0 against arsenal then 5-0 against burnley chelsea 2 manchester city 1 and then the result against us 2-0 versus newcastle united and slapped the champions of england 4-0 but then somehow lost to southampton 1-0 don't know if that's a pep issue or it's just down to luck Pep Guardiola has lost nine games this season in the Premier League. That's more than Arsenal and Sheffield United. That's mad, considering how high they are in the league and how good they're doing. They've lost more games than Arsenal this season and they're classed as a banter club. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But we all know, this is this what this scared me. They just got beat to Man City. I mean, just got beat to Chelsea, sorry. They, Pep Guardiola would have done everything to their players to make sure that, that they beat us in the FA Cup. What does it do with the slap to it? They've just got beat to Southampton. What's Pep Guardiola going to do? Get his players to slap us. And I feel like that will be the case. Uh, I watched that Southampton game. I've seen match of the day. Uh, City obviously deserved it due to stats and whatnot. But Southampton defended great. But obviously at the Etihad, I can't remember the last time we won a game at the Etihad. It was not that Carlin Cup game where we beat them there. Uh, 2-0 with Sissoko scoring. I think it was the last time we beat them at the Etihad. Obviously, in the last three games against them, we have won one, drew one, lost one. So it's not a bad veto considering it's Manchester City. But they've got a massive team. Sterling, I don't know if Aguero will be fit. They've got some fantastic players who can cause problems. They were causing problems against Southampton. It just wasn't their day and the ball didn't go in the back of the net. What's going to happen on, on t tomorrow? It's going to be crazy to see what happens. Let's look at Newcastle United. So Newcastle United, uh, I will say a little bit and then I'll go on to my predicted team. So starting off with Newcastle United, we've had a, a bit of an injury issue. Lascelles could be out for the game. Andy Cavill could be out for the game. Maximin will not play in the game. Uh, who else was there? There was Almond who's got a bit of an issue. And there's... Hayden, Longstaff, we've, we've got injuries building up now and I, I, I agree with you, Bruce Howe, it's mad, I think we've had, this will be our sixth game, sixth game in 15 days, is that right? No, I, I don't know, is that right? It might be, uh, I, think, I, I think I read something like that, but... That, 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 that's not right, I've just, I've just lied to you, I swear I read something like that, sorry lads, but... Uh, but will that hit were? Will that hit Newcastle United for this massive game? Newcastle United want to finish as high as possible. We are guaranteed to play Premier League football next season, right? But in our next five, we've got Manchester City, Spurs and Liverpool to play. We've got Brighton and Watford, which are must-win games. But then we've got the top six in the next five games. So it will be tough. It will be nice to see a good performance. Will Steve Bruce go to a five back? Will he stick to the four, two, three, one? Let's look at my predicted team now. So this is my predicted team for the game versus Manchester City. Uh, there is a lot of changes and that's not due to the injury, well, due to the injuries, not due to performances. Ingold to Bravga, right back I'm bringing Yedlin to rest Javier Mankiel because he played every game during lockdown. Danny Rose comes in left back, um, I feel like he might rest Lascelles just in case. If he comes back fully fit, he might start him because he obviously he's the captain and whatnot. But I think it might be a Shaw and Fernandez job. Centre mids, he said that Matty Longstaff will play and he's got to the end of the end of the season to agree a deal. That's two weeks, I think, Saturday or sun two weeks Sunday. Matty Longstaff needs a sign paper to this deal because apparently to boost it's a fantastic deal and whatnot. So I think I am pretty sure Bruce said he's already gonna play. So Matty Longstaff in the midfield with Nabil Bentaleb. With Almoran being a, a little bit iffy with his injury. Uh, against 
West Ham, he played the rest of the game with an injury, but he didn't want to tell anyone because he wanted to work for the team. Not to make a mere one for you. So I think John Joe Shelby will go into that more advanced role, which could really help his performance. He done that against West Ham, and we went two one down, got the goal back for us, which was crucial. I think Lazaro has to start because Maximin obviously will be rested for the game slash not playing whatsoever. He's played so much in this game. I mean, so much and been so well during the return. But obviously, he's had two injuries this season, which is massive. So we've got to look into that and can't overdo him. Lazaro, jo uh, Joel Linton on the left, and Dwight Gale will start up top for me. I feel like that is the team that Steve Bruce will play. If the players who come in, who are changes from that team, will be the players who are not injured. So I can't see the likes of... Uh, I like Muto coming in. Like I would, I would want him to, but I can't see Steve Bruce doing that. So it will give him a shot off the bench because obviously no Andy Cavill and no Max him in. But lads, that's the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm sorry that obviously there's no there's two no two videos. It's just this one. Sorry about that. Uh, I it was it was horrible. What I had to experience. I couldn't even believe blink properly, man. But leave a like, lads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all for the game tomorrow. How are the lads?